Hey everyone, Elaine from the HBAR Foundation. Uh, really excited to have this space. I think you know the Studio team has done such a great job in bringing other ecosystems or bringing multiple ecosystems together. So really excited to talk about AI and lending. Um, happy to share a little bit about what the Hedera ecosystem and the foundation is up to. Um, I'm really looking forward to the conversation today. Hello, hey everyone. I'm Nandit, co-founder at Lighthouse. Uh, and have been actively contributing in the Falcon ecosystem from like last three years now. Um, and at Lighthouse, we're building this programmable data layer, powering AI deep in an NFTs uh, with decentralized storage and encryption. Pretty excited to be here, uh, join uh, Zero Finance and HBAR uh, for calling us at this space. As you'd have and have um, a few different pieces that are just built into Falcon, like. Um, CIDs, content addressable formats, and that really gives native immutability to data that's onboarded to the network. So um, thanks to the CIDs and that content addressable format, you know that the data that you're storing, it has not been changed. And so it really gives you that sort of um, data integrity that a lot of AI companies look for. Um, you also have proof of location, which is something that um, uh, enables those enterprise grade data, center, data centers, but also um, what it does is it basically requires storage providers to run um, a computation across data to generate a proof, a hash that's then stored on chain. And that hash is verified um, cryptographically every 24 hours. And so for AI companies, um, it's a great way to know that your valuable data sets or valuable models that you're storing in decentralized storage haven't been tampered with um, and that they're still there. So proof of replication and the cryptographic verification across Filecoin really helps. Um, and then just bringing data on chain generally allows you to have end-to-end -end data provenance, um, data traceability. Uh, if we tie this back to um, Serial, for example, um, it looks like there's certain interest rates that are tracked uh, depending on um, what lenders and borrowers are able to contribute. And if you bring that data on chain, then you can um, track rewards on chain as well. And um, there won't be any disputes around what contributions uh, led to what interest rates. Um, and you see that kind of playing out across both deep in IoT and Web3 AI companies. Um, so just across the board, a lot of uh, synergies between um, AI and Filecoin. Um, if we look forward into the future with the Filecoin virtual machine or FVM, um, you know, that's really enabling smart contracts on data and treating data as a programmable asset, which um, eventually allows you to unlock new use cases that you can't even access in traditional cloud, um, data monetization use cases, data sharing use cases um, that, that are really kind of forward looking, but um, that are, a lot of companies are building towards on Filecoin today. That's, I would just say that's amazing. Uh, we look forward to see what are the, uh, ongoing major updates from the from the Filecoin uh, project, uh, and yeah, I definitely agree uh, when you say that it's amazing uh, when you when you talk about uh, the, the the storage capacity of the entire uh, Filecoin uh, infrastructure. Uh, as a data scientist, I can tell you, I can confirm that uh, with the great developments that. Uh, are coming with the, the AI. Uh, we surely need uh, developers, uh, data scientists. Uh, you know, we all need uh, uh, to, to, to increase the, the, the capacity of the storage solution. But above all, we need to make them safe. We need to secure them. And I definitely agree uh, when, you, when you say that Filecoin is definitely uh, the, the best option to to find this deal, the potential synergies between us and between Filecoin ecosystem. And uh, that's why uh, I will briefly introduce now uh, to this audience, uh, Serio Finance, uh, why Serio was built on Edera and how we use, uh, how we leverage Filecoin technology for our AI. And then I will briefly talk about uh, uh, the potential long-term collaboration between 
Sirio and the entire Edera uh, ecosystem and Filecoin and the startups that uh, were founded on the beside of Filecoin. Well, uh, we can say that Sirio Finance, uh, as Helene uh, previously mentioned, is a lending and borrowing market. Uh, it means that uh, you can uh, deposit assets and earn uh, some rewards, some uh, 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 some rewards on the assets deposited. And on the other side, you can borrow those assets that are deposited into liquidity pools. Uh, you can envision serial finance such as a typical lending and borrowing protocol uh, such as uh, have or compound but uh, i would say that there are some unique feature uh, that uh, would say, uh, that i would say that uh, pat uh, serio head of uh, head of the current state of development of lending markets and uh, one of them is surely that we are able to leverage the Hedera uh, technology and scalability and performance, and we are able to guarantee a user experience that is above all expectation. Uh, the transactions are almost instant, and I can definitely and personally confirm that. Uh, but uh, aside that, uh, what makes Sirio unique is that for the first time, we are trying to uh, to combine, uh, we are trying to find the intersection between DeFi and AI. In fact, Sirio, for the first time ever, is building uh, from scratch uh, um, a machine learning model that is basically capable of predicting the risks uh, associated to the liquidation events one moment before that uh, uh, borrowers are going to take their loan. Uh, so we are trying to find uh, a solution uh, that is totally arbitrary and permissionless. Uh, that is, uh, let's say, that is permissionless uh, more than the current solution that are found by, for example, Gauntlet or Chaos Lab. Uh, and uh, basically, our long-term goal is to is to provide this service as a B two B. It is model as a B two B service for every lending market that wants to be empowered by AI. And um, I would say that our relationship with Filecoin was quite straightforward. It was born really really quickly because. Uh, we we jumped in a, a call and we shared some great synergies with the Filecoin team, technical and marketing team both. Uh, and basically, we are using Filecoin because we needed uh, a service and infrastructure that could allow us to store our data sets uh, in a safe and decentralized manner. Because a lot of Web3 projects like ours, uh, like Serio, um, if they want to, 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 to build uh, some AI-based product, they basically need uh, to rely on Web2 and centralized infrastructure, while uh, one of our long-term target is to totally decentralize our AI. And uh, in, this, uh, in this goal, in this process, uh, I would say that uh, Filecoin play a an important and a crucial role because uh, thanks to Filecoin and the uh, Lighthouse interface, we are able to store uh, in a really, really quick manner and easy manner our data sets, retrieve them, and basically uh, use them uh, for what are our purposes. Uh, and uh, yeah, I would say that this is like the main use case. Aside that, we also use Filecoin and uh, Lighthouse to uh, to basically uh, store and track some of the data and analytics related to Sirio. So as Daniel mentioned before, uh, everything regarding uh, uh, analytics and statistics about suppliers, borrowers, uh, and, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, yeah. So basically, I am here confirming that uh, Filecoin is the top tier technology for decentralized storage. Uh, 
And uh, our long-term relationship with Filecoin uh, is not just based on the technical aspect. In fact, uh, one uh, of our main goal uh, is, to, is to keep working together uh, uh, and uh, also on the, on the DeFi field. And uh, for example, uh, find together some uh, bridging uh, to, to, to bridge the token. Uh, the field token into the other ecosystem and uh, allow everyone to uh, to lend to borrow Filecoin token uh, into a serial finance platform uh, to swap them into main dexes of uh, header ecosystem so uh, I would say that our long-term collaboration is much more than uh, simply a technical collaboration uh, and uh, yeah the, 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 that's basically all from my from my side uh, are here hearing uh, what you have to say yeah absolutely first of all you know glad to know all this progress that your guys are making with uh, Hedera foundation uh, the blockchain and then now with Falcon as well and glad to know like some good words around um, how you integrated Lighthouse to store all your analytics and uh, DeFi data. I think overall how I see this integration is quite interesting because Hedera, like from maybe the time, maybe I when I heard like two years back, I always had this impression that one of the teams who are able to get good enterprise partnerships, I remember from India as well, there's some good um, enterprise SaaS companies uh, who, ha who are part of like this Hedera consortium as well. So great to see. Uh, Hedera getting good partnerships and then the recent focus towards RWA and institutional DeFi is quite interesting as well. Now, how I see your angle at Serio Finance there is that um, you are building this new model of how we can use um, new technologies like AI to improve and provide new avenues of uh, like new functionalities like avoiding liquidations, which is like very relevant for uh, a lot of degens in this place because many people are lending like huge amount of money and then many time uh, they would like short or long the market and then if one can provide them a better AI model on chain uh, with like fast speed as Hedera uh, and then using AI models to do that, uh, that I think is a really valuable product. And how I see Falcon fits into this whole picture is around provenance and verifiability because in a way when those AI models make a decision, the data has to come from somewhere. And as uh, Daniel also mentioned, like this concept of CIDs are very important in the Filecoin ecosystem because they guarantee immutability of the data. So how we uh, how I see is that maybe next time your AI model or AI bot triggers some on-chain liquidation, uh, and especially with like the institutional focus of Hedera, these institutions want to know that, okay, when you did that uh, action or liquidation or avoided, uh, help me avoid that, uh, what was the data backing it like on what grounds you made that decision uh, and the fact that you will be having the cid uh, which is a unique identifier of a file being stored on filecoin using lighthouse that will allow you to essentially not just um, like provide value but also be compliant uh, with the broader theme of the space um, and i think yeah overall uh, the collaboration is interesting like xlr is, has done as a bridge great job in terms of uh, bridging filecoin to a lot of ecosystem and uh, given that if we see uh, now Filecoin bridging to Hedera, that can be a very good, um, I think, match made in heaven. Um, so I'm quite excited about that personally. At Lighthouse Front, I think it makes a lot of sense because we want to go where, uh, where the users are. So if you are somebody in the Hedera ecosystem building an RWA, NFT, DeFi space, uh, and are looking to have a reliable, easy to use interface to store your data, uh, we can be your best option there. And then another thing that uh, on the technical side, we have built as our encryption SDK, which uses this interesting technology around threshold cryptography. What that allows you to do is you can store private data and build token gated applications. So for example, somebody can you know build an application where if they own a piece of RWA on Hedera, uh, then they can access the data that's being stored on Filecoin. This is, uh, I think, a very useful functionality that we built at Lighthouse using our encryption and threshold cryptography, especially like no AI can work without uh, like encryption and uh, privacy. So that's what we provide at Lighthouse. But yeah, overall, quite excited that uh, where the direction of 
uh, Serial Finance is going and um, great to partner with you guys. Uh, I have seen one interesting question under the space post comment from Crypto Wizard. And the question is, how is Filecoin and HBAR trying to make onboarding people more user friendly for the everyday person? I will try to to give my 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 personal uh, answer uh, my, my personal answer to this question. If everyone from the speakers want to add something, feel free to do. I think that uh, both Filecoin and HBAR uh, can share a lot of synergies together, and they can do great things together uh, to 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 basically onboard new people from uh, uh, from. Uh, from the mainstream scenario because, uh, and I think that the, the way, uh, the most important goal that we both have to, to reach is the institutional adoption. Uh, we at Hedera are trying, uh, as Elaine mentioned before, uh, we are trying to, 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 to push our boundaries uh, so much into the real world asset integration and adoption. Uh, and uh, I think that the best way to onboard new people is to push further into the institutional approach, increase the user experience of users thanks to the great performance of both these technologies and infrastructure. And uh, these are my two cents. If someone wants to add something from the speaker, feel free to do it or if there is someone that uh, has any question, feel free to add uh, into these comments. Yeah, I think overall from the Filecoin side as an ecosystem team, um, there are two things that we focus on on the user experience side uh, to onboard everyday user. One is that uh, folks can log in into their preferable login options like Google, GitHub, uh, email or even like popular wallets like MetaMask, Phantom, etc. I'll also link in comments one of this uh, UI that we made to make the onboarding uh, very easy. It's set files.lighthouse.storage and then there you can pay even in your token of your choice. For example, you can pay on um, using your credit card, debit card, you can pay using your Polygon tokens, you can pay using your uh, like USDC and then even on like Cosmos chains as well. So then the focus is, okay, whatever a user wants to log in from, like web to login options, that will be very easy for them. Like folks, even in the call, they can just log in into their mobile using their Gmail uh, and then try that out. So I think a great onboarding experience and great uh, useful payment methods can be a very good way to um, reduce user experience on the Filecoin side for everyday user. All right, all right. Uh, if you have to add something, Elaine, go straight, sorry. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I love this question, so I'll try and keep it short. Um, I think there, there are a number of ways that we at least think about um, uh, user experience. I think, you know, the way that Nandit was talking about it, right, really trying to replicate uh, existing user flows that people are already used to is incredibly important, whether that's through credit card purchasing or being able to log in with your social logins, you know, all of that is is really important. Um, giving people flexibility on the actual payment asset, also very important. Um, I think some of the things that we've seen success on are similar. One is to um, bring people a good user experience through uh, use cases or things that they wanna do already, right? So I think out of the consumer space, we see a lot of success for applications who are able to provide something fun and something meaningful in a way that people are already used to doing. And I think the Karate Combat team um, is a really good example of that, right? You know, they have a very sleek and user-friendly mobile experience. The uh, physical experience, you know, either attending events or streaming events is, um, you know, very similar. Like, there aren't any major hoops that you need to jump through in order to participate, which I think is, is incredibly important. Um, you know, I think when it comes to institutions, I think it's it's a little bit of a mixed bag, right? I think I definitely agree that having more institutional adoption is important. Um, but I think it's also true that 
in the very beginning, institutional adoption actually precludes the average retail or individual user, right? You know, even our um, Canary HBAR Trust is a private offering. It isn't something that your average kind of person can can engage in. Um, and so on that front, the user experience is actually pretty poor. Um, what's also interesting is that a lot of the institutions, at least in the financial sector that we work with, are quite used to having a poor user experience, right? When you actually trade or you conduct um, kind of these large trades on financial markets, the technology that they use, the systems that they use are different, right? They're not, they're not beholden to the same um, expectations around user experience. And so on that front, the user experience really comes down to things like scalability, which I know is something that the Filecoin ecosystem kind of knows, right? Like being able to hear from your clients um, and your partners what you actually need. You know, that is a technical um, requirement that may not look pretty. It may not be the most seamless to use, but it is something that, um, you know, factors into the uh, institutional experience. Um, that being said, you know, if you're trading crypto, if you're engaging in any of these applications, liquidity definitely comes into the user experience. I think that's kind of the second area that at least from the foundation and the Hedera ecosystem we've been focusing um, quite a bit on is trying to increase the liquidity when the, within the ecosystem so that when you're looking to trade on a DEX or when you're looking to make a loan, you're confident that you know not only will the speed of the transaction be you know under under a second, so that's a positive user experience, but the pricing that you get is also um, the most up to date um, because you have a very liquid market. Yeah, I think from um, you know the Akave and Filecoin perspective, we're super excited to to work with um, both Hedera, Serial, and Lighthouse. I think there's tons of opportunities in this space, um, especially when it relates to AI. Um, I was actually you know, looking into some work that Falcon and Hedera has, has done in the past, and you know, we've already found opportunities with a, um, a climate GPT uh, to, to basically provide this on-chain traceability um, with, with Hedera's ledger uh, backed up to Filecoin for persistent storage that's verifiable. And so I think there's just going to be tons of opportunities, whether it's in the DeFi space or DeFin space, um, to be able to, to bring different uh, chains or, or ledgers together. And the interoperability is kind of the future. And so um, being able to partner and serve different types of use cases and different types of target markets, um, I think is just really powerful. So excited to um, continue working together. Oh, that's nice. Nandit and uh, Elaine, do you want to add something be before uh, closing the space? Yeah, I think uh, it's been great uh, to be on this space and would love everyone to check out our website. Uh, give a follow on our Twitter as well. And then uh, looking forward on how does this product evolve and uh, try it out as soon as possible. It came out as well. So yeah, keep us posted as well when Serial Finance uh, launches this. Uh, super excited for it. And I'll just say thank you so much to the Serio team for kind of gathering all of us um, and continuing the good fight in terms of bringing different ecosystems together. We love it. Thanks so much. All right. All right. I think that's all. I also want to thank you all guys for being here. Uh, and we are glad uh, to see that uh, these nice results from our hard work, uh, 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 mainly into the in interoperability side. Um, I think that's all. I think that's all from all of our sides. And uh, we look forward to share more uh, updates regarding Sirio, regarding HBAR Foundation, regarding Filecoin. Uh, regarding Akave and Lighthouse, all working together on new cool use cases. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>